In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a quote in SIN 7. So first of all, there's two ways to get to there. One is this shopping cart area, the sales, or the shopping cart icon for sales, then new quote. Also, you can go to the CRM and select a customer or create a new customer. I'm going to select one already there. So imagine the customer calls in and says, I want a quote. You pull up their account and the advantage of going to this screen first is you can add a timestamp of when you spoke to them. You can even enter some notes with what they said. What they said right there, timestamp. Okay, so that's kind of nice to record your interactions with the customer and then also, SIN 7 automatically records the orders and the quotes that you create for this customer. Notice I've been playing around and created some. And then of course, here's the button we want, New Quote. Click New Quote. So once again, you can go here to Sales and select New Quote, or go to CRM, create a click on a customer and go to New Quote. So now here we are on this screen and we can enter the company name. It's uh, Hector Lewis is the name. Maybe he doesn't belong to a company and all of his information is populated there automatically because we went to the customer screen first. Then notice we have some numbers here. Expected order date, probability of winning. So be thinking about that in the back of your head while you're talking to the customer. When you expect or predict that he's going to make a decision and decide to pull the trigger and, and purchase this, order it. Um, and then of course, what do you think the probability of him doing that is? You can select those right there. Now, if you don't enter these, you'll get an error message at the end. Notice there's a tiny little asterisk right there that says that's required filled. So get in the habit of filling out those fields right there. And then we enter our products. So I'm gonna sell some anchors. It searches and grabs. I just entered part of a part, just a portion of it. So I don't have to enter the entire code or the entire description. So I'm gonna sell some anchors, some springs and some pins and we'll move our focus over to the right hand side of the screen and see we have some quantity areas there. I'll go ahead fill those in and scroll down we'll notice that the total is populating. So if your customer wants to see a copy of this quote there's a button here that says approve an email. We'll click on that and it will it will advance you to the email template screen. So you see the email address of the customer you're sending it to and the template of the quote. If I click on this link, it'll show us what the attachment looks like as well. All right. Thanks for joining us today at Brando Consulting. See you in the next video.